Alright, there we go. Now I have health. This door is closed, actually. I'll just talk about A defense first. <gasps> Cheating, bro. Um, so, A, I wouldn't commit, like, all your resources to it. It's kind of, like, a known fact. You don't want to, like, throw everything here, because this is pretty much, like, a throwaway point. Um, depending the classes I would have here, like, probably your scout, your soldier, and your spy. And then that would, that would generally be it, I guess. Like, how it, how my team would play is our scout would play, like, in this yard or up there. And then just kind of spotting, and our soldier would play, like, right here, just kind of spamming. Or playing up there, and then... Just kind of spamming, then jumping back there. And then I, as spy, I'd play like on any one of these rocks. And then just kind of like chill and call the players that are walking and call which players to leave. The thing about spy on like this point is it's pretty much like, it's pretty much saying like what classes are going to stay on this point and what classes are not. Like, oh, if the, is their heavy going to stay? Is like their engine going to stay? Is like. They'll probably push, like, a bunch of classes here and overwhelm you. You don't have to, like, defend this point. Like, this is a throwaway. It's not like you're hard-holding Swiftwater first. Like, it's just one of those points you just don't hold all the time. Like, denying them a little bit is better than just giving it up for free. Like, and I... You can pretty much die on this point, but it has to be early, because this door is really slow to open. I think that's, like, the only thing. Uh, for pushing this, generally speaking, I like, if you're putting a demo heavy, I have my demo heavy walk up this way for pushing this point, and then they, your demo and heavy just shoot, like, spam a bunch, and then once, like, your cappers are there and everything looks cool, then you guys just, like, leave, and then you guys can push B. That's, it, normally overwhelming this point is very good, like, and then your engineer and medic can stay in spawn. And then your engineer, your, you can have your team escort your engineer to build like a gun over here, so you guys don't get like flanked or anything. Um, what else? What else about this point? Uh, I shall just talk about stuff for demo. Um, just some traps on this point. There's just a bunch of good traps. I actually saw one. Some team I did a review for recently but did this. I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's really cool. Um, putting them on the crane is cool. Right. Oh, I cannot aim stickies. Right here is really good. Just anywhere where you might delay their time. Like, if they jump on point and you just dead all your stickies, then they have to, like, wait for their spawners. And then they come back. And it's just generally a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna talk about. Oh wait, that's not what I want. I want new clip. I don't have blinds for this stuff because I'm not bright. I will not talk about the B defense. So, B defense is actually like a pretty big one because it can kind of determine like how your team plays, or I mean, not how your team plays, but like what necessarily will happen, like. Generally, what I would do is have your dispenser like somewhere along this wall, have your pyro play close here, your demo can also play close, just not to the point of sniper sightlines, your sniper can show like by this barrel or like back here or uh, up here, and then look down through that crack and try to get anybody. And then your heavy will play like up there, your gun will be right here. I saw some people put their gun like on this thing. I don't, I don't know if that's like better or not, but putting it right there is really good. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions which I will talk about on this map for like people just leaving when like they're still holdable. And I'll talk about how to hold the other way as well. But kind of what will happen is your heavy most likely will be like pressured out and you'll have a telly here. Don't put the telly like right there. Put it on that so it's harder to like spam because like shooting like stickies like right here it will hit it but also do like less damage your heavy will like, chill right here get a buff um I, putting the tele entrance right there is really good because you can get the pack if you like it's better than putting it like all the way back there 
So, like, he has to walk all the way, then come back, and it's just not really worth it. But he'll take the telly and then, like, refight if he wants until he can't. And then, pretty much, like, that's just how, the, like, you guys will set up on this point. Kind of what else will happen is, like, they'll send, like, their demo heavy up here, spam out your heavy. There's no way he wins that. It's just a 1v2. I've There's been situations where I've won because, like, I'll bait him out. And, like, I'll shoot, walk in, and I'll just, like, run away, get a buff, grab the pack, take the telly. And then, right as they're, like, peeking here, I just, like, rev back in and then shoot them. And then sometimes that works if I'm fast enough, but I don't know. It, it It's something to try, at least. I, I play, like, heavy a lot, and I play a bunch of other classes, but that's about it. Gun right here is just denying. Like, I the reason having your gun over here is a lot, like... A little wider is because you can peek spam drop down as well and spam main a lot easier and your medic will chill like right here in the dispenser wherever the dispenser is pyro will play like close main like because if they use their main a pyro can just air blast this and it's really free and if your pyro wants to rotate the other way because he knows up there he can just use take a pyro uber and just air blast them up um I've seen, I actually don't know too much about demo on this map, like, like a crazy amount. Like, I had to summon demo a few times, but I always just played how I default played. But you can have your demo play up here for the beginning and, like, spam with your heavy. And then, uh, you can rotate here. It's pretty, like, up to you, but, I, yeah. Some cool traps are right here. Doing them on this, like, my demo... A few seasons ago, put crit trap here, 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 and here. Just so, like, they had to be super slow. Like, they'd have to shoot that, they'd have to shoot that one, they'd have to shoot that one, and then to do anything. And then he, he could debt anywhere through here and then get him. Right here is really good. Just, you can't can't see them from a first glance. Also, right here is really good. Like, they'll, they'll probably see that from a first glance. I've seen traps on this corner, but your demo has to be like really aware because they're they're gonna see them like fast, and also you're standing in like a huge sniper sight line. Uh, I'll talk about the other thing I like about B. So, I, I'll actually have, I'm gonna go energy for this. It should be easier because um, okay, I'm good. I'm on the right range. So, when you guys don't have, like, okay, let's just say this, like, our gun's, like, right here, we're all holding, they use into us, and we back up. Most teams back up through here, but instead, you stand on concrete and spam point, and there's two spots your heavy can go, and your gun won't be there, because you guys are pushed back. But I put my gun, put my gun, like, right here, and then just build up to, like, level three, blah, 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 blah. And then it's level three, and then I just strangle it, and then just strangle it all the way over here. And if you you can move it like over here as well, I don't like this spot as much because you're a little farther from your team. And then just pretty much wrangle point. Your heavy, when you guys are holding in this passive area, can go two spots. He can play this stupid head glitch right here. This is like the bait head glitch. Like you stand here, you rev, and then you peek around the corner. I, I can show it on heavy as well. That would probably be easier. Like, that's the spot I stand as heavy sometimes. Like, if my team is holding concrete and I need to get, like, two kills on point, I, like, hide through here because you can, you can shoot through this. And then I just drive, and then I shoot players that are on point, and then I shoot and pick anybody else, then I just jump back. It's, like, good for getting, like, one or two kills. The other spot is, like, I guess it's, like, more... I guess it's kind of like a Euro spot, but you stand here. I see a lot of Euro heavies do this and just shoot them. Other other than that, you're just like playing concrete, but you're, you're pretty much like a damage sponge. And you can also peek this window, but you can't get as much. Um, Your demo, just play concrete, passive spam onto point, you know, maybe get an Uber, get them to use, and you just back up Wishbone. What else? That's like if you're holding passive. Like, they pressure you out of like, I guess it's like one point and this is another point like once you guys are back here 
then this is like the second point. Like it's like holding aggro versus holding passive on upward. I think that's a pretty good way of describing it. Um okay, talk about some flank stuff. Once you guys lose A, then you just wanna back up in the lobby, pretty basic. You just spam them out through here, scout can play around your soldier, maybe clean up on some damage, like if he's able. And then yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for flank. It, if you guys get pushed back here, there's no downside. Like your scout just watches this door, your soldier spams to the door, just spamming them. Just try not to let them set up a gun, because that means that they have like a lot of ground to work with, and that can be very hard on your team. What if they start spawn camping? If they start spawn camping, the there's two things you can do. You can either have your demo... Okay, this is also something I should talk about. When you're... Because sometimes there are going to be situations where like the flanker is going to be better than you, and you need to rotate your combo. The classes I choose to stay are... NG and Heavy. If Heavy's still up there and NG's still there. Because Heavy's watching the stairs, NG is watching everywhere through here. Your demo and Pyro just walk through. Your Pyro can be on debt. I, I like it for that reason. Your demo just passive spams point and passive spams them a bit, not really peeking any crazy sight lines. And then, it, like, once they're dead and your flank has control again, then they just walk back. If they are spawn camping, you're, if you're spawn... Oh, sorry, you're going to say something? Did someone have a question? Sorry. I cut them off. Okay, I'm gonna go back to talking. Just let me know if you have any questions. It's all good. Um, the other thing you can do is you can rotate around here. Like, um, if your med is holding like passive, just get a buff really fast. It's a little unlikely. And then you just push them through here instead. And your soldier can just spam point. Your scout can like jump on point if needed. And then you do that. The other thing you can do if they're are, are you, when you talk about spawn camping, you're talking about like their combo as well? Yeah. Okay, then your combo should meet them. That's what, at least what I did with my team. If their combo is flank, we would meet them flank and we'd leave two players on B. But generally, that's just how it will go. Like your combo meet them, you'll spam them out point. Your flank will do like flank things. I think what teams do now or at least what I have heard is if your combo is where spawn is, then your flank holds over here. Your flank holds heaven. I would try that at least, and if it doesn't work, just keep playing normally. Um, what else? And your combo rotates back, your flank has control, then you're, you can just sit and spawn as well, and then just resub. It, even if you want to like have conch and like black box and like build a banner and then walk into them, that sometimes works as well. Like, if it's just to their flank, like, if their flank's, like, crazy pressuring you, like, spamming you out to spawn, and they have, like, a gun set up and strangled, you can just get conch and then try fighting them with conch, like, or, like, buff banners or something. Like, banners are crazy on this map. These are in battalions. But, yeah, battalion, is that the one that mini crits? No. Oh, it's the one that, oh, yeah, that's the one that gives you, like, resistances. Yeah, I, I, I tried, it. I tried to run, uh, buff banner last season it worked kind of well i might try it again on defense but no just see how it works yeah it's a it's a really good like offensive thing more or less is there any questions about b or like a like any big questions or anything you can think of for like anybody else uh kind of for medic at least what i've been told is your medic plays like in the store or they play in the like they play, like, right here. It's And then your power just spy checks everywhere through here as well, and your demo spams on the point. That's for the concrete hold. And demo just spams there and spams there. You can go up there as well if they're looking not to push their mid. Is there any other questions about things and stuff? And cool things and stuff? Okay. Uh, just... Let me know if you have any questions, like, there's no, no question is a bad question. I will now talk about holding the BEC connector Beck, or they call it Wishbone, or... Oh, I should also talk about just callouts as well. Point, slow doors, just if I should go over them again. Um, that's upper or heavy spot, drop down, roof, um, pyros, or... Soldier spot, you can get up there. 
stairs, heavy spot, blah, blah, gun spot, just where things like normally go, truck, also a little strat actually, but if you crouch here as spy with the enforcer and you like, you don't like going in for zaps for gun, this actually will not lock onto you. Standing here, the gun won't actually lock onto you unless it's like on the right here. So if you're t if you just like aren't getting zaps, like your zaps suck, and then you're like, I'm just gonna, I like enforcing the gun better. You can stand here and enforcer it and just cloak away. Cause like the pyro is all the way down there and you can, he has to run back up here, then he's baiting. That's my little spy tidbit. Um, I don't know if you like having a soldier on B, but you can get up on that lamp, by the way. If you like wanted to try something like in the pipe, your team, yeah, and I, I didn't know about the pipe, I just didn't get on that lamp. But if your, sol your soldier want to do something where he stands on the lamp and then your team baits them and he drops down, that sometimes works. We tried that like once and it didn't work too bad. Like, we dropped the med, but just our positioning was like weirdly bad. So, like, we had to like use to get back in and it just kind of wasn't worth it. But if your team wants to try it, then go for it. This is Becker Wishbone, and then that slow door's up there. Uh, then this is C. Uh, any other questions for A or B? Okay, I'm gonna talk about holding this point. I need to go demo for this. Okay, holding Beck is actually something really good. And it's something that can like be devastating. You like put traps up here, you know, you just don't play too close, watch out for their snipers, spam pipes, because all the pipes just kinda group up right there where they will be pushing. They tech take fat thirties and forties, maybe a pipe if you're lucky. And that's kinda what happens. Your heavy will watch this back door here, and then you can rotate over, you know, peak just get a little bit of damage and then rotate back. Your medic will play like somewhere in this cubby or like somewhere around this cubby and your pyro will spy check everywhere in here. That's kind of how to hold Beck correctly. And then there's, all right, something I, we did a long time ago in UGC, but, or my team did at least, how we hold, it, there's a way to hold E and Beck, but it's really weird. Your heavy, your heavy will play right here your pyro spy trucks everywhere, your demo plays right here and right here, and then your med plays like right here. And then as long as everyone's doing their job, like their pyro, your pyro's watching over here just spamming, or your pyro's watching like this door and spy checking, the only problem with this is like one person has to do two jobs at a time. So your pyro has to like spy check and watch a door, your heavy has to like either spy check and watch a door or like spam point. And your demo has to like spam two doors. So it's like, it's a little stressful on your combo, but at, in the end, you get to watch two points for like a little bit more work power. And then the cool thing is, if you know what they're going to do an E push, literally what you do is you just do this like, have your have your whole combo peak that point. And that's, that's just what they do. Like, you just, if like there's a heavy right there, you just buff them, you wrap, and then you guys just spam them out, and then you dies. And your power just stands here and air blasts them if they walk into you. That's the power of like holding this doorway, but it's like, it it's like, it's a lot of stress on your combo. Like that's what I want to like say. It's a lot of stress, but if you guys want to try it, then go for it. Um, what else? Also, I know like this really cool demo thing that I'm gonna be I stole from a Div One demo who's playing demo in advance this season. It's a really cool strat. I will talk about later. Um. What else? Okay. That's just how to hold Beck. If you guys get pressured out of Beck, just go hold C. Pretty much how you hold C is you, everybody plays on point. Your med can either play right here or your med can play right here. Your heavy plays over there. Your demo and pyro play on point, spamming out that connector. And your pyro just spy checks around. There's a lot of spy checking on this map. There's a lot of aggro decloaks as well. But, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the best way to push Beck, by the way, is just to have, like, honestly, your snipe, as long as they don't have a sniper back, your sniper just wide peaks Beck, and then your team just starts getting, like, a little aggro. 
Like, they just start, like, slowly spamming them out while your sniper is getting aggressive. If they're hardened on you, here's what my team is... I'm going to tell my team to do, because sometimes, like, listen, sometimes, like, the... My team will bait pushing here, and what I will do is heavy... Please don't tell me these doors are closed, and they're closed. Then why I do is heavy is I walk up, I, I walk up with my 450 buff, walk here, and then I tell my team, yo, I can walk, I can walk. As long as it's on a gun seat, nobody should ever see you. And then you just, you, like, your team will, like, start pushing, you guys, like, you'll drop down, you'll fight this heavy because you shouldn't know you're here, and you guys just pinch them. And your demo, like, your demo will just kind of, like, walk up and spam them. You guys might even have by this point, you guys can use. And then your heavy is just going to block this door as well. And then it should, your heavy might die, but it should buy you enough time to kill their kill their team. You guys will have add because it's offense. Your heavy will have fast response because it's offense, and that's a pretty worthwhile trade. And then you guys just cap C pretty much for free. Something else you could do is also have your soldier and heavy do this. Sometimes it works a little better because heavy v heavy, you're gonna end up at like 30 HP. Um, if you guys both shot at the same time, but generally it's whatever. Just the one thing about this, don't let them know you're here initially. Like there's their spy might call it, but it, it shouldn't it shouldn't matter. You guys just walk in, you use blah blah blah, and you just block them off, and it works really well. Um. Uh, for NG, this is what I did. After my team lost B, I would just hold Heaven. There's a lot of different ways to hold Heaven. You put your gun, like, right here, blocking yourself inside this little room. Put a dispenser right here. Uh, maybe, maybe a telly. And then they can just teleport up here, and then your team gets lost, and then blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can put your gun, like, here, and your dispenser here. What I did is I did what... My mentor told me you put a tele exit right here so the spy has to crouch jump. But I don't use tellies on defense really on this map unless if it's like the last D and E, then it's just easier. Then I put my dispenser right here and then I put my gun I put my gun like right here. It's pretty basic, but it really works really well. Um What else? I hold, talked about holding C for pushing. Oh yeah, this is like some basic stuff, but like uh, it's not like it's not like teaching how to play. When you guys, are, not enough teams do this. When you guys are pushing this hallway, push fast. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like oh oh, we wipe them. Push fast this hallway regardless. Like and then like because they can they can just walk out. Maybe they might get their spawns like two seconds. It doesn't matter. Like push fast if you guys are pushing through death hallway. A, team, a lot of teams fear death hallway, but the reason they fear it is because they're just not fast enough. Yeah. Also, let's see you guys cap C, and then they wipe you through death hallway. Like, it's theory. Just go through white room, and then push them B. It's a lot faster than, like, going throughout the whole entire map, and then doing that. And it, if your combo wipes, I, I like having my combo wipe together, or if the players can find each other. That's also really good. When you guys are pushing through white room to through here, normally what you guys... Okay, yeah, I'm getting all over the place. When your team pushes through here, you guys all drop down and commit to point, because that's the only way you do it. Your demo can, like, stand up there and spam, but heavy and pyro have to, like, and... I don't know, have to jump down and commit, because they might they could walk out to the door and, and walk at you. Some traps you can do for defense, if you know they're going to do this, if you guys are holding D, is just put them right there. Most teams don't expect that. It's really clean, really nice. Um, that's pretty much it. For holding D, I would not really hold D. I, what I would do is hold E, more or less. But if you guys want to rotate your combo and fight D, take an Uber exchange. If you look like you're losing, just go back to holding D and then spam them through here. That's, that's what I would do. Just because it's, it's just easier. If you guys are already know you're going to lose, then just hold E. Because your positioning on E matters a lot more. Because if you lose E, you lose the game. Um, from pushing, uh, there's another way to hold, there is a way to hold D if your team has E locked down, is where your demo spams out this hallway, your heavy head glitches here, uh, I don't, I think your med plays like right here, and your pyro plays like over here, 
the reason your med plays here is to give beam to like players that could be over here. Because the thing was with holding this, your flank is going to be in heaven with your gun, and then they might need to like rotate for buffs. And so, oh, we need a buff, and then they just walk back and keep spamming the point. That's a pretty good way to do it. Is this head glitches? Nobody uses this. This is overpowered. Like, it, splash? Okay. Man. Let's look at this game, bro. It does hit, but it does, like, reduce damage. Like, reduced or none, I think. Yeah, it does, like, no damage. It does, like, a little, but not a, not a crazy amount as, like, some of this other stuff. That, yeah. Use the head glitch, you pretty much win the game. Um... That is it, and then, like, if your gun dies and your flank wipes, then you guys just rotate your combo because that's more important. Uh, pushing through here is really easy for a pyro to stuff it as well. So if like they're if they use through here, just use on a pyro and just air blast them, and you're, nobody else has to come in. It can be a solo. If they use through here, this is, a, this is what we like to call a cringe uber, where it's it's like this but like ten times worse, and your pyro can just stay here and air blast them up, and then whoever's alive can kill them. Um, what else? Talk about holding E. Holding E. Okay. Holding E. You have all your cappers on point. Here's what I do. My demo plays on this bridge and spams through here. My heavy is up here shooting, and then we should have a gun, like, over there or something. Or, like, wherever it is. That's if they push through here. If they push through here... What you do is you either your heavy plays on point or like your heavy. I, okay, this is where like things get like really nitty gritty. Your heavy plays here, or like I like my heavy playing like here and just letting players like walk into them. Because like if he gets air blasted, then he gets air blasted in the pit and you just lost a heavy. And then your demo can like like spam them like through here, but it has to do like fast spam so he doesn't get air blasted. Pyro right here is overpowered like. This is the best place, like, if you have your pyro right here and your demo right here, then you just pretty much win. It's something like I talked about before, like, your pyro air blast, anyone who's trying to walk your demo, just off the point. And then you guys get, like, free pit kills. Um, there's also holding, there's also holding up here with your combo as well, where your demo spams here, your gun is here, your heavy's, like, right here, doing this high glitch. And I think your yeah your med sits right here, and that's like something else I know. But the cool thing with this hole is I will explain. Where's my? Okay, this is where the magic comes in. And I'll see why I'm. Okay, so here's something cool, right? They have a ton of players on point. Your team is trying to hold up there, or your team wiped. Your demo goes through here, or no, he goes like, your demo like walks out of this door because they like they have all the other points and they have e-captured. Your whole team decides a way to push. Your demo just walks down here and then just does this. That's really good. People underrate that. I underrated it. My team wiped to it. So, when I rang for an advanced team. So, that's really good if you guys want to do that. Um, it's very, very good strategy. Very smart. Um, if you guys have all your players here and they're like all capping point, you're like, oh, we can't do anything. And your demo just won't, like wants to do this. Do that and get like some double donks off. You don't even have to hit, like, double dongs. Like, you can just, like, push them off. Like, it was, like, the same thing. I feel like I'm missing stuff. What else? What else? What am I not thinking of? Uh, I could talk about committing through E and the wishbone the other way. Hmm. So, committing through here is, like, 
very painful. Like, it's unbelievably painful. This is, this is like, a lot of pain. Like, pushing through that hallway. The reason for that, they're all over there. And they're just gonna, like, pretty much cuck you. So, like, you have to, you have to have a plan to, do, like, do things. Also, I forgot to mention this. Having your sniper up here wins the game. They call it JFK because it is... Can just own people. There's not the other call out is duels and singles. Like that's what I learned it. Is there's two windows and there's one window, and then that's heaven, and then that's hell, and then this is Beck, and then that doesn't have a call out, but it, I think it'd be cool if it had one. Uh, white room and point. And, uh, D and upper and lock with. IT and lockers and corner and pack and all the cool callouts and A door and all over there C door. Uh, any other questions? Oh yeah, wait. I was. I'm oh, sorry. I'm retarded. Uh, I get out of here. Okay. Pushing through here, you just have to, like, commit and use, like, pretty much want to use here. Like, I, I can think of no grid scenario I've ever pushed here where we didn't have to, like, use and, like, try to win. Their arbor is going to be, like, way worse. I don't know why we push out through here, but I don't know. We push out through here sometimes. I would not recommend it, I rec but sometimes it works. I don't know if this still works, but yeah, that still works. You do that arc your stickies backwards, and then I don't know where they land, but I gotta know where these land. Yeah, they land there. It's perfect. That works. Uh, what else? What else? Go this way if you're committing point. I would not... Actually, if you want to fight them here, then go this way. If you want to spam them out through there, go that way. Or, if you want to fight them here, just go this way and do the other way. That's, like, pretty basic, but you know what I mean. Any other questions about this map? Any... Anything? No question is a bad question. Would it would combo ever push from lobby to E? Oh, lobby to like white room to D. Or, or like, over or here. Yeah. Where, yeah, they push, can do that. On that side. Yeah, pushing through here, I don't really like it. But pushing through here, here to D, I do like it. It can work, and it's like not bad. But normally, I would prefer to go this way if I've capped C, like. All right. Something I would do is I either would walk through death hallway, or I leave and walk all the way around a flank. That's what I would do because it's just like, I don't know, it's just easier. Because like pushing through like anywhere else is like, like painful sometimes. Unless if you guys just like skip D and then go to E. Does that kind of answer the question? Yeah. All right. If you need me to like talk more about it, I can't. Like, I have brain damage sometimes when it comes to these sorts of stuff. And should flank just push where the combo isn't? Like, if the yeah, combo's in yeah. lobby, should the flank be playing wishbone? Yeah, like if they're if they're doing an E push, the least I would do because like this is the thing, and like okay, let's say your team is pushing E, like they're like oh E push E push hype hype hype, and then. Here's what here's like the situation. So they rotate their whole combo through wishbone and it's just a gun here. That's easy. That's easy. Like your scout can like bonk in or something while the gun's shooting at him. You bomb the NG, your scout's behind, you guys just spam out the gun, and then the gun dies. And then you guys can cap B. And like and you guys get so much cap time on B that they're like, wait, wait, what? Like they just walked in our NG. Like, that's absurd. I've never seen that before. New strap. Uh, but nah, like, 
that's what I would do. Like, it, it creates some things you don't know. You're not like seven manning a point. So like, it's spread out a bit. So like, if you guys like have a ton of cap time and they don't have a gun, like you guys could just like fake push E, spam out their gun, it dies, and your team can push through here and have upper control because they're heavy left. It's like it's stuff like that. And I, I think you guys can do that. Like I, I've seen your soul. It's pretty good. Like you guys can probably figure out a way to like spam out the gun. Um if that like doesn't work and they have a heavy up here, you guys can like bonk. Okay, this is what I heard. I heard is a strategy to do. Like I play spy and like like I'm always with combo. I don't really play flank classes. You bonk up through here. And your soldier just starts like spamming the heavy, and then your scout like I don't know where your scout goes actually. And he just walks back. A sniper can be like a flex on this map as well, by the way. Like if you want, what I've seen people do is like their demo stands right here and it starts walking up, and the sniper just hard scopes. Like I died to I died to like a newcomer player yesterday doing that. Like he was he was actually a newcomer. I wasn't using that as, like a term. Um, it was very smart from him, very smart. I didn't expect him to do it. Huntsman is good on this map, and Huntsman isn't good on this map sometimes. Sniping right here is like a big sightline as well. On point is really good, just watch out for spy. Also sitting JFK, you pretty much just win the game. Like on offense, you just win the game if you sit, if you sit there. Cause like they, they can't peek anywhere. Like, nowhere. They're gone. Deadzo. That's it. Does that kind of answer the question? Yeah. Okay. Anyone got any other questions? I got through that way faster than I thought. I thought, it, like, how many steals? Like, one of the crazy maps. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something else for B. If heavy isn't up there, then your heavy should go, like, right here until you guys are going passive because having them walk out through here they have to like spam out the heavy and then you can just like fist of steel run away and get healed again i like him here because he sometimes they just don't shoot him and it's like having two sentry guns and it's very annoying anything else spy pyro angie medic uh scout um oh. soldier Whenever you cap C, what does it do for E? Uh, the bridges? Oh yeah, the bridges. The bridges do uh, come bridges out. Bridges are from D, I think. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you cap D, you get bridges. No, if you cap C, you get like almost all the bridges. There's small gaps still, and if you cap D, you get railings so, yeah, and right. faster cap speed. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I yeah, know. I think you're right. Like, I don't remember actually what happens. Like, I just play steel and I just do strats. Like, that's like a nitty gritty thing I didn't, never thought of. I think when you cap C, the bridges, like, come out. And then something else happens when you cap D, like what he said. And at least with the bridges, I mean. And I th once you cap D, these door, that door closes. And when you cap B, old spawn and new spawn switch. So, it's really cool. This door closes, so they have to go through that door, or that door, or Oh yeah, something. capping D also screws up their spawns, because they either have to go all the way yeah. into Wishbone, or go through Death Hallway. Do I die if I go down here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to try that. I remembered. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Spy can is like super crazy in this map. I spy when I play this map, I just follow the combo, play the good old follow the combo game, and then I just get a lot of free picks. Unless my flank needs help, and I just go help my flank. Getting flank so, picks is kind of peak. So just like revolver and dead ringer. You can use like literally anything. Like it, it people people will say like, oh, you have to use a certain loadout. It it really doesn't matter what loadout you're on. I ran. Okay, I main called for my team on Spy, cause haha funny, and um, I was I was like the player that would, like tell people like hold W, and then they'd hold W, 
but what was I gonna say? I ran like cloak and dagger, let and spicicle on this map, and I, I would get like 400 DPM like every game because it, it's just like getting stabs. Like, like you just be like semi competent at this map. Like, it, it's just like it's just a super hit or miss spy map as well. It's like I don't know, like. It's like really weird. It can be really good. It can be really bad. It's just whatever's up was whatever's up. Any other questions? Like, it can be a, it can be an, it can be like any question. Like, even if it seems dumb, like, it, I don't know, it doesn't, it's gonna it'd be a chill question regardless. What secondary would the uh, pyro be probably be best to use since board shot isn't an option? Oh, wait. Oh, I was afraid. Shotguns. Uh, shotguns really good. It's pretty much preference, though. I'll answer that question. Let's go question in a second. Um, pretty much. All right. I'm like a shotgun purist, except on like Asheville and what's the other map? Uh, Lakeside. I run Detonator on the map just because it's so good. Um, Reserve but, shooter probably wouldn't be good on steel because yeah. you can't really get bombed that easily because it's enclosed. So I'd probably recommend panic attack for the fastest switch speed and the up close well, damage. I, I run I run reserve shooter for the, the for the switch speed. Yeah, so. switch speed isn't yeah, that gonna, bad yeah, for, for reserve crits. shooter. It, 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 like the mini crits are like a side grade, like and the damage is like a side grade. The switch speed is like what matters. Like it's like the same reason like use the degreaser or flamethrower. Like it's just a damage. It's like a damage and air blast cost. Like it's pretty much the same thing for the shotguns. But I I don't think it matters. Like I would run a shotgun, but that's me and I'm a shotgun wrist. Like I lag sometimes and always having like hit scan is helpful. Like you could run flares. I'm not the biggest fan of flares, but I don't know. It's whatever. Um Scout loadouts. It, it's the same, like the same thing. It's pretty much preference. If your team wants you on B, then you probably want to run bonk. But that's like you can say like I come bonk in this entry if you guys want to push. But they'll probably be like wrangling it, so you have to like get really close to it. Because even though the wrangler has like lock on, it will still lock on you if you're like right in front of it. Cause like the engineer will be like kind of looking at you and you're like if you're just blocking like blocking taking one for the team then you'll be fine uh bleed is pretty good on this map my scout last season ran full bleed like the whole season and like on steel he liked it because you could just shoot a hit a ball and a cleaver just through here while the soldier was spamming he was like a he's just like a cleaver god he just net hit like it was a log where he had like 2,000% accuracy on Cleaver like a really long game. Because it just bleed counts for like an act, I think. Uh, but if I was running Scout, I would just run like Winger, uh, Winger and, and like Bleed and the Scatter Gun. Just because like, I have a very high sense, so like normally I hit like four shots anyways. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, that's just, that's why I run winger, and also I like a lot, so. I don't think there's a ton of winger stuff you can do on this map that's like really good, unless it. Can you jump up to Texas oh. or whatever that upper place is from Wishbone with the winger? Uh. Texas to Wishbone. I don't remember what they call Texas. Uh, where's it's Texas? He heaven. Heaven. Oh, Heaven? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you can do that normally. Like, here to here? Yeah. Oh, no, the other way. Go from the lower oh, to the wait. higher. Maybe you're right. Oh, no. Maybe I just blow. Maybe that's... Yeah, I think I... No, you can make... That's a winger jump. That's not that bad. Actually, I like that. You know, like, oh, I'm gonna fuck the energy. Bomb him. Bam. Frag movie. Um. Let's go on this. Yeah. Can. 
Uh, what else? I'm looking. Is Bonk really only like viable like like at B? It it can be. I dude, I I saw a scout who I played with. I actually tried him out. I think he's like an old buddy of mine. <laughs> he has like insane DM on only the scatter end. So he'd like hit six meat shots and get low and then run around a corner and drink bonk and then run away. Like that's so annoying. But I mean, if you're that type of guy, go for it. I guess. I think you can get up here as well. I don't remember. Alright, I think you can get on like that lighter in this corner or something. I don't remember how, but I don't know, man. I played Soldier like six years ago. I don't remember what I'm doing. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, if your sniper wants to do the drop down play, where he just tries drop down and getting the medic over there, that's pretty cool. Send me the clip when you if you hit it. That'd be sick. You can get on that light as well. Get on these? Nope. You can get on this, but it doesn't really matter. I just drop down if you... I stand there as spies sometimes. Like, uh, get like right here and just jump. So if the sniper stands like right here, I just decloak above him instead of in that corner, but that's just me because I like cool decloak spots or decently aggro decloak spots if I'm being real. Um, what else? What else? Here's a cool spot, it's heavy. Normally, they don't shoot this place immediately, and also, if they're trying to splash down here and splash you, it's hard. What else? What else? I can't think of anything else. I'm probably missing something, but kangaroo IQ, what are you gonna do? Um,. Anything else? Like maybe you have a question for like your demo or something. Like, is I don't I don't know if the demo is not here. Well, maybe there's a question for him. Like, I don't know. Do you have a question for like another class you think would be helpful? Let's have. It. I think we. I think well, last season we got rolled once or twice from an AE push by their combo. But I think that's pretty much just about the spawn camping and rotating the combo. But we got pretty okay. stuck in new spawn, or old spawn, because it it's just one shutter. Yeah, and just rotating around is also really good. Spamming them here is like really good, and then as well. Then your combo can rotate. Just have synergy between your combo and your flank. Like that was a huge problem on my team last season. Like we had like a yell, we were yelling at each other because like they walked through. Like, they had, they put a heavy and demo on flank, and then they they took a pyro uber to fake us on B. And that was, like, really smart by them. But, like, like it took us a minute, because, like, we had to, like, after the uber, we had to, like, rush here, and they, had, like, almost had E capped, and they just really scuffed. And then, just, like, ha we didn't, it's because we didn't have enough coordination. Like, I was playing combo spy, because, like, I need, they needed somebody to main call, and, like, my team wouldn't let me main call. But just have, like, that synergy so they know what's happening. Like, don't, like, make... Don't have people, like, counter-calling and saying, like, well, we should hold B. And then, like, whoever's main calling, say, like, okay, like, okay, this, if I'm main calling the center, they're pushing E. I say, gun and heavy, stay here, we're walking E. And then everybody else is walking E. And then we just spam E, and then we just rock back. Because steals a map where, like, time matters, like... The longer your like cap time is, a lot there's nothing bad off. I've seen people hold like twelve minute offenses. Like it, it's it's really crazy, like the stuff you can do. They just have like they might suck at offense, but they'll be really good at defense. They don't have a actual like a true main color, that's the problem. Just just somebody, anybody, like yeah, just like it can be anybody. Like I so main call up. You could. My soldier, like, season, like, 20 or something main called 
It was like a ESCA invite player who like played a long time ago, and I was playing in little silver division and carried our team because he's like main calling. He like run banners all the time, and then we'd walk in with banner. I think my team got like fourth or something. Like it's just whatever works. Like people like think there has to be like a set way to do things, but there's never a set way to do things. Like that's what makes Highlander Highlander. Like. Oh, we have a heavy main color. Well, like, we have to play a lot around or heavy more, but, like, it works. Like, it really does work. Like, my first season on heavy, I was main color. So, and then this season, I'm also playing, like, my team put me on, like, four different classes. I was on Medic, then I was on NG, then I was on Pyro, and it put me back on heavy. And then now I'm learning how to play heavy with, like, a main color. So it's, like, really cool. It's like a different side of things, but just all being like the joint together, you know, just all vibe together. Any other questions? I think for the most part, we're fine. Just right. uh, the communication, it's just a problem. Left. All right, well, that's all fine. Like you guys have like today, uh, are you guys screaming today? Oh, no, no, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow, uh, and the next day and Monday, then you guys are gonna make playoffs. Maybe. Don't say um, maybe. You guys are gonna make playoffs. If I say you guys are making playoffs, you guys are making playoffs. Yes, sir. New Congo, sir. Yeah. Let's yeah. see that enthusiasm, bro. <laughs> Nothing is over in maybe. I went 3-4 main, but I was hyped every match. I got, I said I, at the beginning of the season, like, I want to make top 10 teams with, like, a bunch of, like, players that, like, are going to underperform. And then I did that. I made ninth place in main. Sure, it's not super flattering, but I mean, I, so I was going to make top 10. And I did. Now all the other teams that were below me this season... Or like the top teams. I'm like, man, I'm dead. Alright, uh, I think that's it. I think well, I... thank you for the map review, Nukong. I think you'll help us a lot. Thank you. Of course, bro. Thank you. But you guys, 